Now we will see push versus pull system. See how the entire production process, you know, starts. First of all, there is a sales forecast. Okay, sales forecast. So what is the sales forecast? See, it's based on the last year sales, previous sale, past sales. Okay, so we we take up the sales forecast. For example, last year, okay, 200 cars have been uh, sold out, and um, before that, um, we sold out something like a uh, some 150 cars, and before that, 130 cars, something like that. And uh, year by year, what is happening? This car sales are the call sales are increasing in this particular case okay and sometimes you know other things are you know reverse also happens you know that is what happening with the tata motors they are decreasing car sales so for example in the previous year it was a 150 and uh, before that uh, it was something like a 170 and uh, even before to that if it is something like a 200 then this year we need to predict the demand okay so based on the sales forecast we will do the demand forecast okay demand forecast so for the demand forecast for example in last year it was a 150 then we try to restrict ourselves not more than the 150 okay so in the process we will do something like a 140 or something so if we are trying to produce less then it is okay and we will take up the increasing sales so in that case here what happens we need to produce at least more than the 200 okay so we are producing this year more more cars okay and uh, when you are producing more cars then you will be having last year last year you know what we call that master production schedule master production schedule what is the master production schedule first let me introduce these simple definitions so that you will understand master production schedule so in any industry based on the past experience they will prepare the entire production process and starting from the procurement of material to the sales okay so from the last year experience we came to know that this year at least we need to produce the 250 cars okay for the 250 cars will we need to procure you know required amount of raw material and then in the same way we need to increase the capacity of the assembly or manufacturing here so when we need to increase the capacity of manufacturing how can we increase either by you know expanding this and at the same time we need manpower also we need to increase the manpower also and of course in the same way the assembly plant and if the you know uh, sales are increasing then we need to increase the dealership also okay that means we need to open more and more dealership more and more shops okay like that we are we need everything is uh, planned here in the master production schedule here in the master production schedule generally it won't be considered the dealership or uh, post you know production and post release of the product generally it will be dealt with the, some other department okay so from here to here we decided so how much raw material should be procured this year and how much manpower should be increased and what is the lines that we need to expand what are the manufacturing lines are the units that we need to expand and what is the assembly unit that we need to expand like that we need there is an entire production schedule is given okay first we have a sales forecast demand forecast and then master production schedule will be prepared and based on that we will procure material okay we will procure material and then for the procuring if you the existing supplier is unable to supply that much material then we will search for the new suppliers and like that we will go in a different direction okay so let's not worry about all those things but you just remember this is the procedure 
in any industry so here what is happening in the normal system what is happening is if you are not following the jit or instead if you are following the push system then our target is 250 cars okay so in the 250 cars what we do we procure raw material equivalent to the 250 cars this is a raw material we procured okay and what happened inventory increased inventory increased okay raw material procured and then here manufacturing capacity increased okay this is capacity increased because manpower increased we increase manpower and then assembly unit assembly and then final product let's say customer so what is happening here we are pushing pushing means because we need to produce 250 cars we are pushing from this side to produce the 250 cars we produced required amount of raw material and we are trying to make all these raw material into the car that means we are pushing from this side we have taken the raw material and we are pushing for the final product okay that is the meaning we have taken the raw material and we are pushing for the final product how we are pushing we pushed the raw material into the manufacturing here and uh, all this raw material converted into some fabricated parts which can be used in the assembly and then again from the manufacturing unit or the fabrication unit we are pushing again to the assembly okay entire we are entirely pushing okay then in the assembly again we are pushing the final product here final product so what is happening here lot of inventory is accumulating here already lot of inventory is there okay this is a this increases a lot of wastage here and then from here to here again lot of inventory you know uh, i mean the, the here this stage is nothing but this only okay this is directly going from here to here and after fabrication of <coughs> parts sorry <coughs> we need to keep in some places before they go into the assembly line okay here also inventory increasing inventory and then uh, after assembly also we whatever we predicted 250 is just a, i mean whatever we forecasted this is just a prediction okay we don't know how many people are buying and uh, all of a sudden all these 250 cars are not sold at one go okay we will produce that and keep there and whoever comes we will you know give to the uh, uh, sell out to those fellows okay that means here also inventory is accumulating here also inventory is accumulating okay this is uh, called as the push push system we are pushing for the final product okay and uh, in the pull system what we know is uh, in the pull system we read we remove this raw material we have manufacturing plant assembly plant and of course the customer and uh, here also what we do we do the sales forecast and then demand forecast everything is as usual here also everything is uh, as usual then what is the pull system here in the jit i have already discuss that we have a you know assured source of suppliers we have a reliable source of suppliers okay when you forecasted 250 we inform to them okay my dear friends please ready for the 250 cars this year we are uh, going for a higher sales okay we will inform to them in a beforehand okay so this is not in our warehouse okay this is external actually now external and uh, they will be ready with their warehouses okay generally we will keep one or two or more than two sub supplier based on your uh, requirement okay 
So here, here also we need final product is a car. So customer came and he asked for two cars and then it came to assembly. Assembly, uh, you know, assembly want to manufacture two cars. Okay, then uh, you know they immediately ring up the they phone the manufacturing unit and uh, say yo dude send two you know car equivalent parts okay then they need to manufacture it because they don't have that so then they call the suppliers yo man send the raw material then they will send this raw material to the manufacturing unit immediately because here we have uh, these are the assured these are the assured suppliers okay whenever we want they just simply send that okay that's why we will keep very assured and uh, actually that's why in this you know in this uh, g sorry jit we will treat the suppliers as the integral part of uh, our family industrial family okay our means here now we have an industry okay now uh, the suppliers also as integral part of a family okay even though they are outsiders we treat them very well and we also make give our best strategies and the best managerial techniques to these people and we also ask them to improve their quality and everything okay so that is how so what is happened is there any inventory here no is there any inventory here for us no and uh, is there any inventory here no but everything is uh, going as usual as like in the previous case okay so what we are doing we are pulling every time we are pulling from the previous days customer want to buy two cars and uh, he came to assembly and we are pulling the parts from the we are pulling parts from the manufacturing to prepare those two cars okay and again here from the manufacturing we are pulling the required material raw material from the suppliers here again we are pulling from the suppliers like this so every time we are pulling based on the demand from, from the final from the end we are pulling okay so you observe the difference in the push system there is a lot of wastage but whereas in the pull system we don't have a wastage here okay and the, the main difference is is we reduce the inventory in our premises okay we need to have assured suppliers this is the pull system and push system then we will take up the pull system and how we carry out all this process you know every time you cannot see i'm just for the sake of understanding i'm saying that uh, I am calling my friend in the manufacturing and I am asking him to send the required amount of uh, parts. But generally it won't happen like that. This is an automated process. Automated process and uh, what happens? These workers, they just go to assembly plant. They need to go there and they need to show something so that uh, they will take out these required parts. And then these people go to some other place and they take away parts, some other parts. And, uh, there should be some card indicating that uh, these parts have been used and uh, the parts in the assembly are empty so we need a new raw material like that so to do that they introduce a card system so that is called as a kanban okay in japanese it's called as a card system so there are two types of cards okay first one is called as a withdrawal kanban withdrawal kanban and uh, the second one is a uh, production kanban okay so in the withdrawal kanban it re releases the it is used to release the material from uh, it releases material from it releases material from previous output area we will see that in a diagrammatic form releases material from 
previous output area okay you note down you please note down and by heart this releases material from previous output area okay and in the production kanban so it give instruction instruction it give instruction to start production from a from a previous workstation okay please note down these two points okay and after that i will explain what exactly happening for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com